Good afternoon, everybody. It's Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I'm officially losing track of days. Wednesday, it's 20 to 1. It's been a nice, it's been a chill morning. Now that I'm not doing uni work in the morning, I feel like I'm not being super productive with my mornings and I'm kind of trying to teach myself that that's okay. Because I just feel lazy. But in reality, there's no uni work to do anymore. It's just because ordinarily at this point, I would have uni work to do, but because teachers aren't getting back to me. It's different, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, but yeah, I got up at about, officially at about eight-ish this morning because the cat came upstairs. Didn't you? Oh, she was very small. She's always very cute, and that's how she gets you. And then I edited the vlog, and then I started looking over my screenplay. Didn't look over it last night like I said I would. I knew I wouldn't when I said it, really. Um, I was just really tired yesterday and then we went out for a walk which was, you know, an unexpected thing and kind of made me more sleepy. Very nice nonetheless, but, you know, distracted me from my writing. Uh, but I've looked over it this morning and I've kind of rewritten a couple of scenes. Well, no, I f there were two, like, sections that I had stopped writing halfway through because I just started stressing out about the length of it that I finished off this morning. It's basically a scene, a section in the storyline where all of the characters are on their own and they're all having little sequences by themselves and I'm trying not to make them too long. And I've got... One, two, three, five more of those little sections to write out. So... Yeah. Not... Not... Yeah. I'm gonna have to make a lot of cuts, really. But... I need to write it all out before I can cut it out, you know? So yeah, I've been doing that this morning. And now it's lunchtime and we're gonna go get some lunch. Chris is on his train game, getting some achievements. I got 125G this morning. Look at you go. Yeah. Chris, we think Chris is allergic to something. You sniffly. Yeah, incredibly. I think it must be hay fever, baby. I think it is. Because, yeah, he's been getting, he got a rash on his elbows and the roof of his mouth is itchy. And then I heard you sniffing last night in your sleep. And you were sniffly. I heard you were itching your mouth in your sleep last night with your tongue. Actually. In your sleep, you were. And that was like gross. <laughs> it's not a nice sound to wake up to in the middle of the night. It's lunchtime. It's a bit warmer today than it was yesterday, so we might go outside for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Slippers won't go outside. Not now she's found her spot in my bed. Don't be silly, Christopher. Yeah. It's Wednesday. That's it. That's all I got for you. I don't it's know. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Nothing planned, as per usual, with this lockdown. Got nothing going on. Lads, we've had some bird drama. And when I say bird, I mean this bird here. Can you, if I zoom in enough, can you see it? Yeah, just about. That black blob right there is a blackbird. So, having lunch outside on the patio. Down there. In that chair right there, that one. Slippers came outside and uh, just kind of sat with me for a bit and then there was a massive rustle in the bushes and she went over to investigate. It's uh, that bush over there. And she went over to investigate, and yeah, there's definitely a bird in there, obviously. And so she's she's not trying to swipe it, but she's trying to look at it. So she slowly sticks her head into this gap in the bush, and I look away for one second. And suddenly the bird flies out, slippers jumps backwards, and then this bird starts like trying to fly, and it's clearly a baby bird. Or at least a bird that's not ready to fly yet. It looked fully sized, but it also was like looked young, if that makes sense. And then the blackbird that's in the cherry tree came down, swooped at slippers, freaked out, she ran inside. And yeah, and then the baby bird just kind of sat in the grass for a bit, like around there. And then it started, oh, not flying, but like flapping both its wings to try and get over there. It definitely flew a little bit, so it's not injured. But we don't know where it went. <laughs> Somewhere over there, 
We might have gone through the fence into my neighbour's garden, I'm not sure. But now the mum bird looks really confused as to where it's gone. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do, really. Slippers is not a predator. At least not anymore. There were a couple of incidences as a kitten with mice and birds, but she's uh, as she's gotten older she's become a lot less, you know, attacky. Plus she's a bell on her collar, so it's not like... She couldn't do very much. That was the lunchtime drama. There's also a bug on my curtain. Is that a bug? Nope, it was some dust. sun sunbathing spot because when the chair gets too shady she likes to sit in this little nook you bubba we've been playing catch for like two and a half hours my chest is sunburnt i think my face is probably sunburnt not good and now we're going to fix or attempt to fix the wee fit board basically what happened was the batteries exploded. Uh, you know when batteries get super old and they let out the white gross stuff? That happened inside our thing and we think it's affected the circuit stuff. So we're going to give it a proper clean with instructions that my sister found and give it a good scrub. And if that works, we're gonna do the same with our Monopoly thing because um, the same thing happened with our Monopoly game. We had like the debit card version where you stick a card in a machine. The machine's broken because um, of the same reason. Batteries exploded inside it. So yeah, that's that's now the activity. It's coming up to half four. Scrubbing, pop of vinegar, and bicarbonate of soda. Very good household cleaning agents. And going away at it like a pro. You look like an artist restoring a painting. <coughs> Are you? Again, do it again. <gasps> You're a hero. Slippers, even slippers woke up to approve. Of, of that. Can I get the, the Monopoly one down now and try the same thing? Yeah. Do you remember the card machine wasn't working the last time we tried to play? Yeah, give that a go. I'll go get it. Right, we've moved on to the Monopoly card machine. So, we've brought it back to life. What I've done is taking it apart and cleaning the insides a little bit. Some asthmatic strips here. So I feel like there's a back casing as well, which I might take. I feel like if I take that out as well, clean that, it might just about work. The screen's on though, so it's got power. Yeah, more than we've achieved in a while. But the screen has turned on. If the screen had turned off, it means there's a problem with the battery, there's no power going to it. But now that the screen's on and it's not displaying anything, I feel like it might be a circuit issue, which is far beyond my skills. <laughs> so, I'll try and do that for a bit. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> oh, put a card in. No, 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 no. Oh, it's got to be. You got to screw it back together. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Reset. That's why I was looking for a reset button on the Wii board. Oh, you got it out. It's always a reset button. It always works. Here you go, a little response. I managed to get it 
on and we heard a little noise. Yeah, so we just... Put a card in it, put a card in it. Oh, this is lovely. That's it, that's the noise. Is, is it working on the screen? Press this. Yeah. <gasps> you did it! You got it working. Yay! That was the way. Got that working as well. This is your vocation. You're an electrician. <laughs> I'm going to do a certificate on the internet. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Expert at using vinegar to clean electrical devices. Yeah. Well done. Right. After our successful fixing of the Wii Fit board and the Monopoly thing, uh, we came upstairs and we pretty much played Call of Duty the entire time. I've officially, I've gone. I've gone from 9 to 10 bots and then 10 to 11 bots in like a couple of games. So my technique is definitely improving. Oh sure. I'm on regular still though. So, you know, I'm going to stay on regular for a while to work on my technique because there are still a lot of things that I'm doing wrong that I, you know, need to focus on, I need to get better at. We also try to clean my keys on my piano, so we were using vinegar to clean the uh, Wii Fit board and stuff, and I've read in a lot of places that vinegar is just a fantastic cleaning agent. And I was going to see if it would work on the sticker residue on my keys, because I've only ever used water to try and clean them. Water did not work. Um, and it's worked a little bit. I used it on this key here, as you can see, most of it's like gone. Um, but the sticker residue is still there, so I ended up ordering a thing called Goo Gone, I think it's called. Basically, every single like I was reading lots of blog posts about using vinegar as a cleaning agent and all of them were like if you have something sticky and you don't have any goo gone, use this. So I looked up goo gone and I've ordered it. So hopefully I'll have a bottle of that soon and I can clean the keys. Pretty much the only reason why I don't play my piano is because I just dislike the sticker residue on the keys. I made the mistake. I know it's my fault. When I was learning to play piano I stuck the stickers on the keys for the sake of me not having to think too much about what key is where when I'm playing. I still, I'm not that great at piano, but I'm even worse now because I haven't touched it in so long because I just don't like the sticker residue on them. So yeah, I want to clean, that's one of the things on my lockdown list is to clean the keys on my keyboard so that it's something that I can actually tolerate touching again. <laughs> but yeah, it's dinner time now. I believe we're having stir fry. Whoa. I don't know what the situation is. We'll see after dinner. But yeah, that's that's been our afternoon. It's been nice and chill and the weather's obviously warmer-ish again. It's not as warm as it has been, but it's definitely warm again. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go get my, my stir fry. <laughs> oh, I just mm, I really want to throw this at the screen. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Come on, Mum, put him out of his misery. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the old version? No, this is the new version. Can I watch it, please? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> another day in lockdown. It's quite a productive day actually, wasn't it? I did some writing in the morning and then we fixed the Wii fit board and the Monopoly thing. I say we, it was Chris with my moral support. And then we uh, we played catch for a super long time. George, if you're vlogging, my music's a bit loud. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to drown you out. That's so rude. <laughs> then came inside and got some Call of Duty practice in. When I say productive, I mean productive in terms of lockdown productive, you know? But I'm quite chuffed. I think we did we did good, didn't we? Yeah, I might do a unit on my mortgage exam. What, now? Yeah. Yeah? Do it. Oh. You sent me the video. <laughs> <laughs> she put it on the fam group chat. <laughs> that was a good reaction to it. Oh, there's a kitten. There's a kitten and a critter for... It's quarter to ten. We're going to go to bed. So thank you very much for watching everyone, I will see you guys tomorrow. Sit back, read. Sit back, sleepers.